welcome to the channel thank you for tuning in thank you for watching today I'm going to York uh, York is uh, a town we've been before actually on one of the other the vlogs uh, but York is about an hour and a half away from Perth from where I live uh, I've just had a coffee break in Mundaring a bit of a late breakfast brunch that's what I've had and I'm making my way to York. Uh, why am I going to York today? Because they have a motorcycle festival. So uh, if that's of interest to you, stay tuned. So I'm going to have a look around at this festival and um, apparently there's thousands and thousands of bikes there. Uh, I think there's some stalls. It's quite a big event by the sounds of it. York is only a smallish town, so uh, this must be quite a big draw card for them. I'm due to get there in about 45 minutes. Don't worry, <laughs> you're not going to sit through 45 minutes of riding. How do? How do? How do? Also, I've got a confession to make. I'll tell you about that in a short while. How do? I think I'm going to be saying, how do? <laughs> quite a lot today uh, there'll be a lot of bikers going to this uh, festival I'm actually late in the day going it opened I think 8 o'clock this morning I think it finishes for 4 o'clock and currently the time is uh, 1 o'clock so uh, I'm quite late in the day I suppose and to make things interesting it's potentially going to rain today and what did I forget? My wet, my wet suit. I had full intentions of uh, having my wet suit, um, not obviously a diving wet suit, just a suit that goes over my biking gear. But I had full intentions of bringing it. Uh, apparently, it's going to have more chance of raining when I get more back towards home. Then out here to York. Completely forgot it. How oh, do I do? How do I do? How do? And apologies for any uh, wind blast. So if there's some wind noise, much apologies. I'll try not to talk too much whilst we're travelling at this speed. I haven't forgot about the little confession I need to make. I told you there'd be a lot of bikers around. And as for all this going on, on there, all these wires and stuff, I don't think I can tidy up really, the way I have that system set up. So there's a few, uh, well, a couple of cords there. One to power that GoPro, and the other one, this thing here, that's the safety cord. So if that there decides to uh, <laughs> disappear on me, it's just a clamp, so over time it might work itself back. If it did pop off, then that safety cord will stop the thing flying away. Fifty-one kilometres to go. And there in about thirty-five minutes. More bikers. And when I was told there was thousands and thousands of bikes, maybe it was the people who were visiting. <laughs> I don't know. A friend of mine has been earlier today and uh, he messaged me and said there's thousands and thousands of bikes, but left it at that. So I'm thinking thousands and thousands of bikes there that are on show and maybe manufacturers and so on. Maybe it's people visiting, I don't know. I think once it calms down with the wind, uh, which I think there's going to be a fair bit of blast coming through, um, once I've got to a lower speed, I'll, uh, I'll tell you about that confession. Oh 
do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. How do? I've got the sat nav working and everything else on the system on the uh, Triumph connectivity. If you watched my last vlog, I was uh, not very polite about Triumph's Bluetooth connectivity. <laughs> um, after a comment by uh, one of the viewers, they actually said, did you connect through the module, the module manual? Now, I actually had downloaded that and forgot all about it. And I actually followed the instructions in the regular handbook. Those instructions are very vague and very minimal. So I thought, well, I will be patient enough about it and I will have another crack with the instructions from the Bluetooth connectivity uh, module. How do? How do? Step by step on that, everything connected, everything worked. So this is the real tester. So right into York today is going to be the tester to see how much it works, how well it works. So far I've been on the road altogether about an hour and everything is working perfectly. I've had a stop on the bike and from there, uh, once I put the key in the ignition, everything married up again. Went to the app, my Triumph app. Auto. And uh, put another uh, route in to get from Mundaring to York. It's working perfectly. It's very, very busy. I'm going to stop with me Audos. So the confession is that I have got it working and I have to apologise to uh, to Triumph because obviously they're watching. <laughs> they, they tune into this channel religiously. So Triumph, much, much apologies for me slagging off your, your Bluetooth basically. I've got things working, thank you very much. Having said that, I did have a discussion about not connecting to the whole bike and all the problems I was having to a, a local-ish Triumph dealer and uh, really they weren't bothered they just said oh maybe your, your iPhone's not compatible with me having an iPhone apparently it's the the steps you must take to make sure that the connectivity is is good with the iPhones with the uh, iOS system so once I follow those steps from that module connectivity, I will leave a link to it if anybody does have a, a Tiger or any Triumph, I suppose, where that has uh, that Bluetooth connection. And I'll, uh, I'll put a link in there so you can download it for free. The link is on that previous video as well. Must have passed a hundred bikes already by now. I don't. I'm waving now instead of Audi. So just to recap, I have the iPhone in connection with the bike, all audio instructions from the uh, sat nav, which is within that My Triumph app is working so I'm hearing instructions or directions I've actually just received a couple of text messages from a friend the same friend who said there's thousands of bikes here and uh, you can't seem to review them on the TFT I assume that's a safety thing not sure but that's one thing I can't do or can't see and again I assume that's intentional So hopefully when I get there, it's not so busy.
<laughs> I might be some of the, uh, the last few there. I will bring you along as well, so um, if you want to have a look at this motorcycle festival, as I mentioned before, stay tuned and uh, you're better to have a look around as well. And would you believe <laughs> that it's set for potential rain today? Um, but more so back over west. I'm heading in an easterly direction. If you don't know where I am, I'm in Western Australia in the Perth region, going out easterly into the country region to the country town of York. So very, very happy that the uh, Triumph Bluetooth connectivity is working really well now. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, I was slagging it off before. So, if you are considering buying <laughs> either the GT or the GT Pro and uh, want that module, the connectivity, uh, you buy it for the GT version, it's already installed on the uh, bike if you have the GT Pro. This is the Tiger I'm talking of course. Yeah, if you read <laughs> the manual, what is it, TTFM, <laughs> if you read the manual, the connectivity one that is, not the standard handbook, uh, you should have success. Oh sorry, I'm just taking a call, just give us a second. Hello? Yes? Yeah, that's Triumph, is it? You were going to offer me a sponsorship on my channel, but you won't now because you saw that last video. Oh, well, I'm trying to make up for it on this vid. No go, no dice. All right, well, I'll be selling the bike next week then. See ya. Only joking. Yes, it was a bad joke as well. So, normally, this road would be very quiet. Uh, there might be the occasional car passing by, uh, the odd biker, and that would be it. But obviously everyone's uh, going to and been to York. Um, I think it was formed in the 1800s, it must be around that time. For anyone who is surprised that there's that many trees here in uh, WA, in the Perth region, uh, well, it is. <laughs> it's not all desert. I mean, WA, people's perceptions of Western Australia is that it's one big desert. Uh, yes, there's lots of uh, sand and desert area around. But it's also very lush as well. We've just come out of the, uh, the summer months. We're now just in the maybe middle or the first third of autumn and uh, so the grass might look a little bit brown uh, but it will definitely green up as we get into the uh, the later autumn and into the uh, into the winter months I do spend a lot of my time riding around the uh, the suburbs of Perth and the, the sort of locale district but getting out you know an hour drive out into the sticks as such uh, it's nice to do. So we're right down to 50 kilometers an hour here. Okay, so my plan is to um, 
close the video off so thank you very much for watching and don't worry <laughs> I will show you this festival I'll see you soon again all being well bye for now this crazy young lady right now is jumping on the front with Jay Cell. Make some noise for Jane. the Yamaha uh, section just had a bit of a laugh with these dudes he wanted a hundred dollars for him to be in the shop that's not happening nice little learner bike Hondas the infamous Africa twin So the town hall is the centrepiece as well, I think, for York. It's a lovely building. But it's been, uh, the whole town's been overtaken by motorcyclists. Current sign of the times, check out those petrol prices. Thought he died years ago. That's a project. That's the Castle Hotel. And that building was established 1908. What is he doing? 
think that brings it all to a conclusion. So, thanks for watching.